We're in our van. This is product review Monday. Woo! It is humid Monday. It's it's humid because the humans are out there causing humidity. Uh, okay, so product review has a request by one of the uh, comments to do the back surly rack. review for you so it is an awesome rack but it's a bit heavy and a bit expensive but if you're wanting something durable the sturdiness of it helps and if you don't mind the money and you want to make the investment the price doesn't matter as much either there are cheaper racks out there and also check out the link below for this new thing without rack going rackless it's called and it's uh yeah, you basically use frame packs. So the technology has arrived where you can go without your rack. So it may make your uh, way to store stuff on your bike a bit lighter because you're just using material to hold your stuff and it attaches to your frame. But okay, so for this rack, it's made of steel. It's pretty easy to install, but if you're on a disc brake bike, I don't think it's gonna install too well. So let's take a look right uphill up the hill, overviewing this nice overlook. All right, so here's the rack. You got four connection points. One, two, three, and then four over there. Okay, so I had to saw off this bolt a little bit because it was a little long. You can see it's sticking out and it will touch the gears if it's too long. And then you can adjust it with these guys once it's attached. So it's a solid, a solid steel. It has adjustments here. So it's fully customizable for your bikes. Of course, it's gonna fit on a Surly a little bit nicer. But if you had discs, you'd see it have a problem. You can see it doesn't have much extra room there. The width is pretty much set. But you notice that th this bar is awesome because it allows the, the pack to not touch and swing into the wheel so that the pack is staying there so this bar is not usually seen on a lot of cheaper racks and then you have the three sturdy bars sorry for the tubes in the way you have the three sturdy bars coming down to the soldered point here and then that all gets transferred down into here so overall that's a pretty solid design certainly knows what they're doing i think they rate it for up to 80 pounds on the back so that's 40 per bag or 35 per bag and then plus stuff on the top um yeah there's the surly logo right on the front. So it runs about 120 bucks, of course, Amazon link down below. Um, and overall, I mean, I do like it. There are cheaper ones that give a little bit slimmer profile up top. Um, and then they're just lighter, a little bit lighter materials. Um, but for this one, it's sturdy and I'm always breaking stuff. So I just get like the most quality one, especially for bike stuff. So that's the deal. Um, pretty easy install, a lot easier install than the front surly rack. And, um, and yeah, someone commented on that front Surly Rack video that I did last year, and they said I should take it easy on the drugs. Well, just so you know, I tried to tone it down a little bit on this rack review. And I've been drug free since 83, and I was born in 85, so you could do the math there. That's so sick!